Lawler wise to welcome. Oh, something happened. They wobbled Diaz back to his feet. That's what? it. Diaz does not return to his feet. Robbie Lawler gets the win by TKO. A lot of mutual respect between the two combatants. Diaz welcomes Lawler back to his feet. to start is that what you expected from nick diaz he has not been in the octagon for so long for that pace to start like that you couldn't have expected that that's what i expected i expected for him to bring it to me push the pace and he brings it every freaking time he steps in the ring he's a hell of a fighter let's give it up for him he came to battle put on a hell of a show i really appreciate him one thing about this camp he actually got me going I'm here with Nick Diaz. Nick, that was a crazy fight, my friend. How are you feeling? I'm glad I at least I put on a show. I, I knew I had it coming. Oh, Rob. Yeah, I, you know, I, I lost a lot of stress coming into this one, you know, especially being off a long time. And uh, I'm glad I, I, put, I, know, I knew I was leaking here, so. I didn't want to make too much of a mess. <laughs> oh, but I, I'm, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I, I'm glad to be on the show Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Stockton bad boy, Nick Diaz. After that long layoff, doing that well against a guy like Robbie Lawler, a former champion, the way the crowd reacted to him, it was like, I, tons of respect for Robbie, but it was like Robbie was a nobody when they announced the two names, you know? And, uh, what he did, he was winning those every one of those rounds. He was way up, and uh, yeah, I think get this guy back in there. That was five, six years of ring rest. You put him back in there right away. He's being more motivated, more confident. This guy's the limit. I seen Dana White through the through the cage ringside. Dana White was blown away. He's thinking exactly what I'm saying. I guarantee it. Not one. So whoever the article clothing person is, <laughs> yeah. just tell them now. We're not getting <laughs> 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 I love it. I've got to go tell them. Yeah. Don't think that's the cup. They can have the cup. <laughs> <laughs> we were so juicy with tea and all bottom, like, three rounds. That was f***ing awesome. Yeah, I was like, I'm not going to catch it, though. I was trying to... I could tell I was like, I'm just hitting him on his head. That was long. It was three and a half rounds of two guys giving it all and like show up the fans that you know when they really want to fight, they fight. Good guys, big legends, and they come out to fight like that. So a lot of young guys don't fight like that. It was an amazing fight. Executive wins for the greatest flyweight champion in UFC history. And still the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Valentina Bullet does it feel when all your hard work pays dividends? It feels amazing. It's the best feeling. Everyone who's done believe in martial arts, you're wrong because martial arts is everything. 
obviously not the result we wanted, but uh, we're going to go back and focus on, on our team. Honestly, can't say enough good things about her. I'm, I'm beyond proud of her. She's a winner, man. To make it to this level, to fight all the demons she's fought in her life and overcome the obstacles that she's had, she's a, a champion in my books for sure. That looks good. They're going to have to start making new spots for rubies for you soon. How many spots for rubies are there? Um, it's eight one side, oh, eight, eight from another side. Okay. Well, I'm still good. <laughs> I have faith that you can. I have faith you can fill it up. Well, I think uh, fight was uh, good. Valentina did what uh, she need to do. She was faster. Every round she finished actually with uh, some throw to the floor. He punching her opponent in the floor. Congratulations. Lauren Murphy, she is very tough and strong girl with very good technique, but Valentina has a lot of experience. Nobody can beat her. Overall, how do you feel to have yet another number in the record books with this defense? I feel good because I was working very hard for this. And for me, it's kind of like one more step, one more step. And uh, people are asking like, what is next? What, uh, what's your goal? What your, how many times you want to defend your belt? But you know, I don't want to put limits on me. I don't want to stuck with the limit. I want to see where I can reach. What is my limit without putting this limit by myself? I just want to explore the world. What a fight, 25 wow. minutes turned in by Alexander wow. Volkanovsky and Brian Ortega. Perhaps they will bury the hatchet. It will be 20 consecutive wins and a title defense for the best featherweight in the world. Hey, incredible, man. What a war. What a war. Hey, listen, when the winner is called, no matter who wins or loses, I want him to walk right out of here and go right in the ambulance. And still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Volganovsky. <laughs> Championship fights are games of inches, and then those little inches become momentum, builds up, and you saw that the fight got away from Brian in the first couple rounds. Third round, he came back, he really got some really tight squeezes, you know, it became very close, hit and tap. So, very disappointing, but we have to just go home, rest, regroup, you know, not over panic, and work, go back to our fundamentals and figure out what our next step is. Volk stuck to the game plan, a very disciplined fight from him. Uh, a couple of hairy moments there, but we took away that Hail Mary that Ortega had. And uh, once we took away that, then we just systematically broke him down. And such a turbulent time having the last fight cancelled and getting to this moment and then getting this victory and proving what he said, he said, said he could do, that he could have a dominant victory over Ortega. Um, yeah, the team's very happy. Great fight, Brian. Thank you, Brian. How <laughs> good! A few stitches in that one, hey! How good! Woo! No one works harder than I do, and again, I ain't anything special, man. Hard work, and, and you see me just time and time again, just do what I gotta do, get these wins, and sky's the limit for anyone, man. And that's the message I really want to make clear, you know, because a lot of people think you need to be something, something special, and all that. So I'm a normal bloke from a small town, kicking ass. Winners piss! <laughs> Mate, I did a good job with that. Oh, you like, did well. Oh, Only a little bit come out there. Eh? Oh, <laughs>